Hello all. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 233. That is, what is the difference between HTTP and HTTP? Yes. Let me answer. So, what is the difference between HTTP and HTTPS? For example, guys, if I take you to an application like this, tutorialsninja.com slash demo. Here, this application is using which protocol? HTTP protocol. And if I take you to another application, let's say Amazon.com. Okay. And if I copy this URL here, you can see that this particular application is using HTTPS. An extra S is there. So what is this extra S stands for? S stands for secured. Okay. So that means this application is not secured. In, in what way I'm going to explain, okay? Whereas amazon.com is secured. In what way I'm going to explain. So just see the difference between HTTP and HTTPS. So what's the difference? So few, few websites are using HTTP as a protocol for communication, whereas few websites are using HTTPS as the protocol for communication. So here HTTP is not secured. Whereas HTTPS, last S stands for SSL. Okay, the people, a lot of people think that S is uh, security, but S is actually SSL. Okay, S is put here because of SSL. Okay, secured socket layer kind of thing. But uh, this protocol is secured protocol. Fine, secured protocol. Fine. Okay, so here, guys, the communication between the client. Client means, let's say, my laptop. Let's say this is my laptop. In my laptop, I opened the browser. Okay, I opened a browser, Chrome browser or whatever the browser like this. I opened. Okay, I opened the Chrome browser, and in that Chrome browser, I hit the URL like this: Tutorials Ninja application. I opened. Okay, Tutorials Ninja URL. I opened. As you already have seen, Tutorials Ninja is using which protocol? HTTP protocol. Okay, which is not secured. That means whenever you do some operations. Uh, on this Chrome browser using this particular tutorials ninja application, right? Okay, a request will be sent to the server. Okay, a request will be sent to the server and server will send back the response back to the client. Okay, this communication happens. Okay, in between this uh, uh, laptop, that is, uh, we can call this laptop as a client machine. And uh, other side, we have the tutorials ninja server. Okay, server machine will be there where the actual application code will be there. This is a, let's say tutorials, Ninja, application, app server. Here all the code will be there. Here request will be processed and all those stuff. But here the transmission, okay? The uh, transport layer, you can say. Okay, whenever you search some product in the tutorialsninja.com, a request will be sent to the server. And server will process the request. Server will process the request and send back the response back to the client machine. Okay, the response will be in the form of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, cookies, and whatever the things. Okay, so but this request and response, this request and response, the communication between this client and server machine is happening over internet. Over internet. Okay, over internet, this communication is happening because my laptop is in Hyderabad and this laptop, uh, this server machine may be in Singapore or somewhere. So via internet, this request and responses are happening over which protocol or internet via HTTP protocol. It is happening, which is not secured guys. Not secured means what? Why it is not secured? For example, from this, from this client, if ABC, ABC text is being sent during the transmit also ABC text will be there and server will also receive ABC. If someone, Let's say hacker, okay? The one who steals the information, right? If there is a hacker and the hacker will have some security tools, okay? Will have some tools using which this particular traffic, this particular communication that is happening between the client and server can be intercepted, okay? Hacker has a lot of tools using which the communication between this client and server can be intercepted. Here communication is whatever you are sending, if you are sending ABC, ABC is being going over request. If this particular communication is intercepted, for example, this ABC is a credit card number, okay? 
the same credit card number is going over the request and the hacker using the tools is able to intercept the request because it's not secured protocol right so so hacker will come to know about your uh, uh, sensitive information like uh, username password uh, credit card details and all those stuff okay that's the problem that's the problem guys okay that's the problem with http coming to https here s i told you right s stands for ssl okay we we generally also call it as secured ssl means secured okay what is ssl and that is out of topic for now anyhow here here also client is there here also server is there the communication happens between client and server request will be sent to the server and response will be sent back to the client okay but here over which pro, uh, which protocol https protocol which is a secured protocol your request and response are happening over https protocol that is over internet only over the internet over http ps protocol here s stands for ssl so here what happens is if you are sending if the client machine is sending abc so here over the request abc will not be sent okay some something like this okay some some encrypted text will be sent okay some encrypted uh, uh, text will be sent okay and this encrypted text abc will be converted to this kind of encrypted text and this encrypted text can only be decrypted by the server machine okay once this encrypted text reaches the server machine again it will be converted back to abc so while during the transit okay during the transit some encryption is happening the original text is not sent as it is it is got encrypted cipher text is being sent which is converted to some other form and being sent even though the hacker okay even though the hacker uses the tools to intercept this traffic the hacker will not get the original information abc will not get okay if this is a credit card number instead of credit card number some other thing will be sent and that will be converted only at the server side so this is what is a secured way of transmitting the data over the internet okay that is possible with https okay and http runs on the port okay 80 okay this is a second difference http s runs on the port 443 443 this http uses no no security certificate okay no security certificate there will not be any certificate for example if you go here and see not secured and if i click on this there is no certificate here guys okay your connection to this site is not secured because there is no certificate installed secured certificate so without the help of the secured certificate that encryption will not happen guys okay but if you go to amazon.com and click on this lock icon you see connection is secured click on this connection is secured okay there is a certificate you see there is a certificate this this certificate is is only available for https okay to and this certificate okay can be purchased by the company based on what level of security this particular application is requires that level of certificate this company will purchase and this certificate with the help of the certificate that encryption will happen this certificate will have the algorithm written which will which will encrypt the data in so and so manner that can be only decrypted at the server side okay so here you see the certificate is provided by digicert global cag2 okay and lot of information is there regarding the certificate okay so since the certificate is there the encryption is happening and the connection the communication that is happening between the client and uh, server is secured so with this information guys you should understand what is http and https so definitely uh, the important websites where the sensitive information is being shared right like credit card number social security numbers those websites must and should be https okay certificate if the certificate is installed then only they will be https if the certificate is not there they will be http guys okay they will not be secured and this encryption will not happen during the transit okay so hope guys you got the difference between http and https okay just to revise again you see http is a insecure communication okay it's not a secured communication the transit between the client and server is not secured and the communication between the client and server is insecure okay there is no encryption or decryption there is no encryption or decryption in this case of http okay so because of that only it is insecure it, it runs on the port number 80 okay internet only but port 80 and here no security certificate because of that no encryption and insecure communication coming to https it is secured communication between client and server encryption and decryption happens according to the installed security certificate and this communication happens over the internet over the port number 443 okay so
this is what is the difference between http and https okay so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye